David is going to surf. Suddenly he slipped. David slides quickly towards the cliff. He is trying to catch something. But the soft sand can't work at all. Is he really going to be hung here today? Helpless, he only resorted to a face break to stop. He was trembling with fear. He tried his best to hold on to the sand. But the body is still slowly sliding down. David desperately breaks with hand. He is about to fall off the cliff. He used the face break again to stop. At this time the sound of the phone ringing in the backpack. David thinks that, as long as he can take the phone, he can call for help. So he worked hard with one hand, and stretched out the other hand to get the phone. But as soon as he touched it, his body slipped down again. Fortunately, he uses both hands and feet, use the face break again, and gets stuck on the edge of the cliff. Now the sea behind is full of reef's rocks. If he falls, he will surely die. David grabs the sand, but his physical strength is about to run out, and he can't hold on for long. Then David began to count. He's calculating the beat of the waves below. He's going to jump at the top of the waves. It's possible to live. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Luckily David fell in the sea, but the huge impact still made him hit the reef hard. David's struggling to swim out of the sea. He is glad he cut his life back. But he didn't know the nightmare had just begun. Climbed up rock, he checked the body well, and it was fine. He's ready to stand up and move his muscles. Suddenly, David passed out. Don't know how long it took away to wake him up. It turned out that he just fell off a cliff, causing his spine to be dislocated. Now one of his hands is badly injured. There's also a big hole in the waist. Lower body is unconscious. Only the toes can move. He suddenly thought of the phone in his backpack. Take it out, but can't open it. This phone is not waterproof at all. David's screaming for help. But who can hear him from such a distance? Better deal with the wound first. He takes off his clothes, cover the wound on the hand, then lay on a reef and fell asleep. After some time, he woke up again. David looking around. There are cliffs on three sides. There is only a sandy beach behind. If he wants to be rescued, he has to swim to the opposite beach. So he carried his luggage, slowly crawled into the sea. Because both feet and one hand can't move. He only swims with one hand. But soon he ran out of energy. He's slowly sinking into the sea. At this time, his girlfriend appeared in his mind. She encourages David not to give up. She has a lot to say to him. David opens his eyes. Swim out of the sea again. He came to that beach. The next day, he wakes up. His wounds are inflamed and festering. The whole person is very weak. He rode a sose on the beach. Hope someone can see. Then the skateboard was washed ashore by the waves. He struggled to crawl over to pick it up. But a big wave hit him and knocked him out on the reef. The waves are coming. Take David straight into the sea. When he wakes up again, he has come to deep water. He struggled desperately to swim back to shore. Finally, hang the reef with a backpack to avoid being carried away by the waves. Then he saw a helicopter in the sky. David screaming loudly. But the helicopter couldn't see him at all. David hangs on the reef day and night. Seabirds began to peck at his wounds. Severe pain awakens him. I'm not dead yet. He undid the straps of his backpack and fell heavily to the ground. David falls off cliff with dislocated spine. He can only climb back to the shore again by hand. Saw a soda can, and it was empty. He hasn't had water for two days. Sudden sharp pain in arm. It turned out to be a small fish hooked. Enduring the pain, he took out the hook. David fell asleep at night. Waking up again he looked at the starry sky above his head. Fantasy has a sumptuous meal for him to enjoy. But reality woke him up immediately. David crawling into rock crevice. Found a roll of tin foil and a cup. Spread out the tin foil. He picked up some of his own craft beer to quench his thirst. Then he wrapped his body in fishing nets and tin foil to prevent water loss. At this time dot thunder sounded in the sky. God finally opened his eyes. He quickly spread out the tin foil. Take out the cup and prepare to catch the rain. He greeted this nectar with joy. Unexpectedly, the rain stopped after a few drops. He can only pick up the tin foil. Desperately sucking up a few drops of rain. David is crying. A sense of despair came to his mind. He kept saying I don't want to die. The next morning, David holds a 40 meter long wooden stick in his hand. He glanced at the prey approaching. Failed hunt. He yelled, come here again. I will kill you. At this time dot. 
the sound of the mobile phone came from the stand next to him. Finally, there is hope. He digs the stand and picks up the phone, screaming for help to his parents, but they don't seem to hear. No response for him at all. It's just a recorded video. Just ignited hope, turned into despair again. In a trance, he saw himself surfing and having fun with his friends. He rose first, then fainted on the beach again. Suddenly he saw something on the sea in the distance. It is a boat. He used all his strength to climb into the sea and lie on the surfboard. He wants to catch up with that boat, but gradually there is nothing on the sea. It's David was saved. This film based on a true story. The ones beside the male protagonist is the prototype of the story. He survived the ordeal and was finally rescued. The man in the film will cry, hurt and despair. He doesn't have any survival skills or superpowers, but he relies on strong perseverance and the spirit of never giving up. Finally got the rescue. So if you work hard in everything, maybe hope is just around the corner. Okay, this movie ends here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.